thank you for having us. Ah, no problem. <laughs> Love to good. be here in thank this you. beautiful city, Barcelona. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Um, I only had actually five questions, but I don't know how long they will take. So, okay. uh, the first one is, uh, you, it's been five years almost since you've been a while. Mm -hmm. And in one of the interviews you say that you don't know where, what is becoming of you in those five years. Or yeah. So you say, I don't know where I will be in five years, how will I become an artist or what will change mm -hmm. of me. Okay. So now that it's been five years, how do you think you have changed as an illustrator? So interesting. Um, I think it's so interesting that I had this interview <laughs> five years ago. Yeah, so I think as an illustrator now, my ideas about art and illustration have become so wide, almost mm -hmm. by I've been really lucky with the success of Wild, but now as I've grown, I also have to reject it in a way. Like, I think it fit the time period really well, and I think it fits with something in me that I cannot write about so I, you know, very many more times. Mm -hmm. But I have read like that, this like people will write about the same thing over and over and yeah. over again. Like they get fixated on one thing. So I'm trying to explore it in a way that isn't wild at all. Exactly. But yeah, it's just. It just sometimes it sticks with you, so you yeah, will yeah, be yeah. Emily here to yeah, be yeah, wild, yeah. and you're trying exactly. to shift. I'm trying to shift. Yeah, I'm trying to shift people's understanding of me as a person, as me as an artist, mm -hmm. because it's so easy for people to just stick with what they know and what they like. But I'm trying to grow all the time, and maybe I can't grow so far from wild, but yeah. I'm I'm trying to. All right. Uh, I think artistically, uh, I'm trying to somehow simplify, but it's not. This is really happening very fast. It's right. very slow. Yeah. So, how do you think now that you've done three house? Do you think you're quite far from wild, or as far as you would like to be in the sense of the shifting and mm -hmm. uh, what? It, where is the difference between the illustration in wild, for example, and how have you learned or have you learned during that process until mm -hmm. you've made three house? Yeah. So, I think with both wild and tree house, uh, I felt like I had to illustrate honestly. And I think wild is a real close examination of a person, of a girl, and of a child who feels uh, a lot of injustice. Um, with Treehouse, I feel like when I got the book brief, I was so excited because I was like, I can make all these dream treehouses, and I was really excited. But I felt that Treehouse is in a way, or I didn't know the stance the writer was coming from, and I've talked to her, and we were like, she's so lovely. But um, I kind of was reading it, and when I'm illustrating for another person, I have this natural kind of act of rebellion. Mm -hmm. So my act of rebellion for that was uh, the injustice of people who get to have tree houses and don't. Right. And so when I was illustrating that book, I felt like um, I wanted to make tree houses that nobody could build. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, as the end papers, these were all people I've asked, like my friends, oh, really? um, about what tree houses they made. Yeah. And I had no friends that actually had a tree house because yeah. a tree house involves. Um, uh, supervision from an adult, land, a tree old and big enough to be able to use mm -hmm. with uh, no repercussions of like the landlord yelling at you. Um, so, and the children all had like this idea of creating their own space. Like, um, this is one me, my, my sister, my sister made this one. Um, and my friend Marcella did that with all her neighborhood friends and it worked. Uh, this is me and my friend Sabine ripping somebody else's trees to make it and we got yelled at by, by an adult. Uh, and so these are all real stories that people told me. Um, I asked on Instagram. But uh, so it's, it's different. Like, so like the idea, I still feel like I'm trying to make something that's honest. But um, artistically, I feel like I'm better at drawing children now than I was with Wild. Yes, yeah. so that's what actually what struck me of in this book. It's a there is a lot of children, and all of them are completely different. So that's actually, it's very nice to see how everyone can feel, you know, identify with the kids in here. So mm -hmm. the kids may see, I don't know, we have, for example, a gallery yeah, yeah. and then... Independ Miss Independent, and then this exactly. boy who is an artist, but he's irritated, this girl stepping on him, which yeah. she means well. You know, it's it's kind of like, um, I think for books, for children, if you want them to stick with the book, there has to be engagement. Exactly. And I think even, like, how I can see myself in a space, like... Um, like this one is so much fun because uh, you can see all the interactions and I've snuck a few of my friends in there too. I drew like over 200 children in this book. Wow. Uh, but let's see. This one, 
So I think for it to be exciting or to be able to be discussed with um, other children, like mm -hmm. my ideal situation for this book is like a group of maybe three children reading it together. Yeah. And slowly like looking over everything and being like, oh no, there's a crocodile. Oh no, the dog's in the way. Mm -hmm. Like, oh no, I think the dog will get eaten. I don't think the dog will yes. get eaten. You know, and you can, it's, it's about this communication. It's, exactly. I think it's about also like, get the kids being the authors of the story so exactly. that the kids enough like have enough imagination uh -huh. so that they can also create and yes. I think that's something that maybe you, you also mm -hmm. think about when you grow as an artist. Yeah, I don't want to finish everything. I want it to be talked about into another existence in a way. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> no, it's not. That, that was actually one of my questions oh. was, did you have a tree house or how did you come up? Yeah. I think you've answered that already. Okay, yeah, no, but didn't have one. <laughs> Always wanted one. So bad. It's, it's I, like you know. childhood dream, right? Yeah, I would draw it so often, you know, and I drew, I used to love drawing dream houses. That was like my favorite thing. Uh, I had a Matt Groening, like Life is Hell comic books, but he has one called Pongo's Dream House, and I was so inspired that I could really have anything, so I would draw that over and over, so it was the best dream. Um, there's something actually that mm -hmm. it struck me with the text in here because mm -hmm. in the first one it like somehow calls out for imagination everything that you have to do mm -hmm. to build a tree house is mm -hmm. look up and imagine what the tree house will be or how mm -hmm. the tree house will be and here too it's like both books are calling for kids to be free and to think their own way or be creative with their own way there's something about wild too that it's um, destigmatization like how the kids are labeled into sane insane you yeah. know imagine that if like this is a dream this is reality so how do you think it affects kids nowadays do you think they are quite labeled or do you think there's like a age and i think i think kids even label themselves without realizing it like um like often when i go with wild uh I always ask children like, oh, what do you think her name is? And they're like, I don't know, what is it? And I'm like, I didn't write it down. It doesn't exist in this world. I could be, like, your guess is as good as mine. I haven't ever had a name. And so you can see them, they still think it's weird, but then they kind of creep out. And they're like, uh, flower, <laughs> daisy? I was like, okay. And someone's like, I'll call her crazy baby girl. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's fine. But it's kind of, um... I think, I think children, I think a lot of parents are pressured by other parents about how to be a good parent. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think, um, I think there's like a lot of supervision in a child's life, but I think there's really, like the, I think the memories I have are when I'm unsupervised and have freedom to do my own thing. Like, I don't think anyone is willingly trying to uh, get hurt, but they're, they're really, everyone is really trying to understand their world for themselves. And I feel like um, sometimes I meet kids who don't seem to have that questioning about the world they live in because they kind of expect someone to tell them. So I'm always trying to uh, at least create a discussion between people. Like if they're not having it with a parent, maybe they're having it with a friend and maybe they're having it when they're looking at a book with somebody mm -hmm. where they can maybe verbally question it so that they can really ask themselves later. That's a big hope for that. No, but I think it's it's good. I also wanted to um to ask you about how do you deal in making honest books where you have an engagement to them, like you fill them and so on, with having a schedule. Yeah, <laughs> it's not because, easy. Yeah, so I have to do a lot of books that I'm like uh, about like that I kind of question. But my job is like when I illustrate books that sometimes like you know because like I work on it so long, I'm I'm certain I read the book a lot more than the author reads it. Yeah. I have to really find things that I want to pull from the text that I can make my own too. Mm -hmm. or, because like the words for the author is honest to them, but the images are the things that have to be honest to me in a way or how I interpret it. Um, and I find it like a huge liberty to take it any way I want. So it's really nice. Do you have that craving? Do you have to? I have like enough freedom where... And this book was really fun to work on because it was... Um, I didn't have to follow like a storyline, it was just about the emotions you have. So she really let me go with my own emotions on it, which is, um, but uh, it's, um, what was the question? The schedule. Ah, the schedule. Um, yeah, it's hard. Like I, I have, I've been trying to write books, but it's very hard for me to, to verbalize like what I want to say. I don't feel as confident in writing, but I feel like yeah, there's some books I get very intense into, 
and then the other books I take on is almost like a decompressor. I still get to think, but I'm really thinking about another yes. book on the horizon. Yeah. There's also um, while you drew wild, so this was like the upset kind of your huge hit yeah. in a way. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's been five years, so you've grown a lot. You want to shift again from it. Um, in here in wild thing, yes. Um, you use both pencils and digital art, mm -hmm. alright? So uh, in wild you said that you were more comfortable with pencils yeah. and traditional art than digital. Has it shifted? Mm -hmm. I haven't learned anything else in digital <laughs> since, so no. <laughs> but I've been playing, um, I've definitely been more experimental, like I've been working with um, children and um, I work in my community center and I draw, but, but, I, like, but it's interesting because like, I don't want to be like, oh, I learned so much, but I have an hour outside of my room to work. I'm on a table. Uh, they, I'm like, I'm giving them limitations. I'm also working with them, and like by giving them instruction, I've been learning so much to kind of like relax a little bit. Uh, so I am. I have been more experimenting with uh, traditional. Uh, I don't know if I feel like so confident, but I, I'm. I'm kind of worried about other people's reactions more than my. Yeah. Just, just because like I don't want anyone, I don't know. It's um, like pencil is like something I've used my whole life, you know. From it's from school, I write with a pencil. It's like I know that feeling so naturally, and I'm teaching myself new things. But I don't like. I'm okay to call my own weakness, but I'm scared for someone else to call mine. <laughs> I don't know. No, but it, um, nowadays it seems like if you don't use traditional art, somehow uh, you know people are shifting towards this digital art yeah, constantly yeah. with Procreator and mm -hmm. so on. But I think it's good that you use both and yeah. I think it's fine if you just if you say I'm just going to do digital or so mm -hmm. I can use yeah. you can do it. I think, uh, uh, I think you know yeah, it's like, like you're in the position where you can do it actually. Yeah. So I mean, you have to I it, it so you have to love it. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, no. The thing, no but the thing I love about uh, traditional is that you have room for mistakes and you because you are not a machine you have lots of imperfection. Um, with digital I almost have no excuse to be imperfect. <laughs> Because I can choose from millions of colors. Yes. I can. I have all the tools readily available. It already looks clean when you start. So it's kind of like um, it's the imperfections that give it the charm. Mm -hmm. So I kind of need both because I need something to make it look clean <laughs> from digital. So um, are you looking forward tomorrow for your conference and the? Uh, well, you're going to be to be playing with children. But I mean, playing yeah. like yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. Is this something that you do on a daily basis? Yeah, I, 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 it feeds my practice a lot. Uh, not necessarily everyone's like, oh, you must get so many ideas from children. It's like, actually not. Kids are crazy. They're really abstract thinkers. Sometimes it's like above me. Have you ever worked with Spanish kids or like that? I've worked with some in Bilbao and they All were right. like pretty crazy. Now you can compare. Let's yeah, see how yeah, <laughs> exactly. you battle know. between them. Right, so um, thank you, Emily, thank for, you. for having a talk with us. And very good luck. It's been a pleasure for us actually, like publishing this book. And I'm so happy you guys got this one. This is like yeah. I've, 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 this is like the first one I made in a long time that I'm really like proud of. Yeah. I think yeah, what? for like years. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you too.